Okay, in this lesson we're going to be talking about the lack of a vowel, which in Arabic is known as sukun. Now here we have letter fa. I want to show you how sukun is written. Now when we actually represent no vowels, we don't just leave the letter without any marks. Sukun actually is represented by either like a small circle on top or with this mark here. So you'll find both used. Now let's look at some examples. So if you remember the last video we went through these words and I transliterated the words into Arabic. That's cat both in Arabic and English. Now here we have harakah there with the calf and then notice there's actually a stop on the letter T. So we say cat. So the T doesn't have any vowel associated with it. It's actually just a stop on the T. So in this case we would actually put a sukun there. Cat. If we give it actually a mark, for example the fatha, it'd be kata or katu or Katy. Similarly, the word back. So it's back. So there's a sukun there as well. And we have the word book. Same thing. Book is sukun there. Now I also want to mention so here the sentence reads Kharaja Rajlu min al Baiti. And you stop there. Now, notice the last letter has a kasra. When we actually stop, we give it a sukun. It, there's no sukun that's written down, but we, we pronounce it as if there was a sukun. For example, in the Quran, this is in Surah Fatiha, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. It's Mustaqima. There's a fatha there. But we don't pronounce that fatha when we stop. So we have this verse from the Quran, and I want to highlight something based on the script that is used in the famous uh, Saudi print of the Quran. So with this particular script, it uses this sign for sukun. So that says qul. That's a command, it means to say qul. So it's written like that. Then we ha have here another sukun, and there's another sukun there. Now, one thing to note: if you go a bit further on, we find this. Remember, we said that sukun can also be represented by this sign here, by this it's like a circle. This circle in the mushaf is not a sukun. It doesn't re represent a sukun. And you actually find two types of these circles. One of them is like a normal circle, and one of them is more like a long circle, like that. Both of these are used in the Mus'haf to represent Tajweed rules. Now, outside of the Quran, you'll find that a sukun can be represented by an O. Allah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa